Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I'm back again uh, for another uh, cooking at home uh, episode. Uh, we're just coming back uh, from a uh, long, uh, you know, vacation uh, to visit the family uh, back in uh, Las Vegas. So now we're back in uh, California again, here at home, guys. And uh, for today's dish, we're gonna be cooking uh, another all-time Filipino dish, vegetable dish, uh, similar to the uh, bottle gourder, the Guinisang Opo, but today. We'll be uh, cooking um, silk squash or sautéed uh, patola. So similar, guys, similar ingredients, just you know, different uh, uh, vegetable that we'll be using. So, like always, guys, we're gonna go through the uh, ingredients, and then we're gonna go in the process of cooking this uh, delicious uh, meal or dish. All right, guys, uh, we're going to go through the ingredients. Uh, this one is a pretty easy uh, dish to uh, create, guys. Um, we're going to start with the vegetables. Uh, I have uh, garlic, uh, onion, and uh, tomatoes. And then every time I create this uh, vegetable dish, uh, Filipino dish, I always uh, combine uh, pork with uh, shrimps. So uh, we're using a pork butt. Uh, what we did is we already uh, pre-cooked the pork butt, guys. So we just kind of like just fried it, kind of like make it like golden brown. In that way, uh, we can expedite the process of cooking this dish. And then uh, shrimp uh, head on. And then we're going to include, of course, the membrane because that's going to give uh, extra flavoring on our dish. And then uh, we have, uh, like what I said, we're going to be using the uh, silk squash or the patola. And this is how they look, guys. So I had, I think we did like three of this one, um, silk squash. And then, um, for our, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the rest of the ingredients, um, we got, um, pepper, ground pepper, sugar, and then, uh, nor bouillon. And then, uh, we're going to also be using a shrimp paste or bagoong. And then salt, um, if we need it, just for added uh, uh, saltness or flavoring. So that's all the ingredients that we're going to need, guys. The seasoning I mentioned. And like what I said, this one is uh, really uh, easy to make. But um, it's delicious, guys, to uh, not only delicious, but also uh, nutritious to serve. And... Um, you know, be part of your, uh, I would say like daily diet or weekly diet. So try to incorporate all this uh, Filipino dish guys, cause they, not only the, uh, the flavor that they bring, but also the nutrition that they bring, um, whenever we uh, eat them. So let's go in the process of cooking this one now. All right, guys, uh, let's start the process of cooking this, uh, Simple but delicious dish, Filipino dish. So we'll start with the uh, the garlic. We're just gonna make them a little bit brownish, guys. So we can extract the uh, the garlic here flavor in them. Then we'll uh, we'll add the onion. Make it, make it translucent.
Now we can add the uh, tomato. I guess I'll walk up the tomatoes and then we'll be back. All right, uh, continuing cooking our uh, uh, ginisang patola. So when your tomatoes are like a, a little uh, smashed, guys, or smushed, um, we can add our um, a bouillon cube. You can use the, whichever you prefer, guys. <clears throat> And then uh, for the broth, so this is uh, my mom's idea. The uh, peel the shrimp skin, guys. She just boiled them, so we can extract the flavor out of them. Now we can use this one as a broth. Get the flavor out of those uh, shrimp. So credit to my mom, and then we can add the uh, the meat. We can add the shrimp now. And then uh, we can add the. Uh, the pork butt that we uh, fried uh, a little early, earlier. And then we'll put it to, uh, to boil and that way we can uh, incorporate all the flavoring of the ingredients that we put, uh, we put in there. And then uh, we'll be back with the rest of the uh, ingredients. All right, guys, so continuing our dish. Yeah, like what I said, guys, this one is uh, relatively easy to cook. So we're gonna add our uh, ground pepper. And then we're gonna add uh, our brown sugar. And then you guys can adjust depending on on how you prepare the dish guys so uh, you can always adjust but i would say like a start um uh, at the maybe like a very minimum if you guys are uh, kind of like contemplating i would say like start at very minimum and then adjust towards the end and that way you're not going to be uh, overpowering uh, one of the ingredients and then it's going to be hard from there to uh, to adjust so we're gonna add our uh, uh, what do you call it, bagoong or shrimp paste, and then we're gonna we're gonna be mixing everything in there. And then now we can add our uh, silk squash or our patola. And then uh, mix it up again to get the flavor um, on on the, uh, the silk squash or the patola. And then we're gonna put this one uh, to boil again. Um, lower, we're gonna lower the heat, and then put it uh, like what I said, put it to boil. That way, 
we can uh, tenderize those uh, silk squashes in there. All right, guys, let's go and check our uh, ginisang lapatola, and then we'll do a quick uh, a taste just to see uh, if it is where we wanted it. Yeah, yeah, and then um, we're just gonna add a little bit of salt just for added uh, uh, flavoring, and then we're gonna do a quick. Uh, uh, what do you call it, the mixing. And then we're probably gonna simmer it a little bit, guys, so we're not gonna cover it anymore. And then uh, that should do it, guys. That should do our uh, guinisang uh, uh, opal. Or silk squash, uh, saute the silk squash. Yeah, really simple, guys. Really simple and delicious. Um, I'm telling you guys, I, you guys got uh, need to try all this uh, uh, vegetable Filipino dishes because they're really good, guys. And and like what I said, to match this one up, you need to have like some kind of a, like a side dish of uh, anything like fried, like fried fish or the milkfish uh, or the pompano even, uh, tilapias or uh, even even a pork chop, guys, and fried chicken. You guys can mix this one up. Even a fried egg uh, will match good with any um, Filipino uh, vegetable uh, dishes. All right, guys, uh, that should do our ginisang uh, patola or saute the silk uh, squash. Yeah, really easy to make, guys. And it's uh, delicious, like what I said. And uh, nutritious as well. So there you go, guys. Yeah, it's really good to be back, guys, uh, sharing um, all the knowledge that I, you know, gained uh, throughout the years of uh, cooking and uh, from my mom. And, uh, you know, it's really good to be back. Uh, so more more of this, um, you know, we'll definitely see you guys on our next uh, family adventure when we're out of the battle. We'll take you guys as well. And the next time we'll be cooking. Uh, there'll be more, guys. There'll be more, uh, you know, Filipino dishes and some dishes too. But, yeah, for now... Um, yeah, we'll stick with the, uh, the Filipino dish because there's so much dishes that I can still share before, before we, uh, you know, venture out to other, uh, culture, uh, cultural uh, dishes. So, but for now, guys, uh, peace out. I'll see you guys on our next, uh, cooking show. Thank you.